Hello everybody. Sorry it's so dark. I don't know what this lighting is all about, but I just wanted to talk about um, level 2 charging and <clears throat> try to figure out, I don't know why they charge so much for this level 2 charging. Uh, if you're like me, um, I bought a Nissan Leaf for like 6800 bucks. I think uh, went to the dealership. It was like 8500 bucks. Payments were like 140 a month. I didn't want to spend like 800 to 2000 three grand or something on a charger. And, <clears throat> you know, I thought to myself, they sell these chargers on Amazon for like less than 200 bucks. You plug them in a dryer outlet, you plug them in your car, and they charge up. You know, why, why do you need to spend $2,000 on a charger? So <clears throat> I bought a plug off Amazon and, uh, Plugged it in uh, the dryer outlet, and it worked fine. I mean, worked for months. And so I decided to, uh, instead of using my dryer outlet, having to switch plugs back and forth, I just went to Home Depot and bought the same exact plug. And I bought <clears throat> a, um, a two-pole breaker, basically the same exact thing my dryer uses or range uses. And it was only like um, less than 20 bucks. Like, I mean, some of those... Depending on what, you know, if you have Square D or whatever breaker box you have, Simmons, a lot of the breakers are less than $20. Sometimes they're 8 or 10 bucks for a two-pole, 20, 30-amp breaker. <clears throat> and uh, I bought some 10-gauge wire uh, and same, basically the same wire they wired up my uh, dryer with and uh, a dryer outlet. <clears throat> and a lot of times, like, you can, uh, <clears throat> they're in the garage the breaker panels right on the wall and usually it's pretty close to you know where you park your vehicle anyway um <clears throat> so i decided to just go that route um i got two um flush uh receptacles i just took a drywall saw cut two holes in got two receptacle boxes um screwed them into the wall to the uh stud and uh pulled the wire in wired up two breakers and it's been working for almost three years no problem um <clears throat> so there is ways around a lot of people think it's so expensive to you know get an electric car it's so expensive to get the you know the little plug to plug them in i mean it does come with the 110 it plug you know it charges for like six out uh was it six miles an hour so you can i have a neighbor that that's what he does he just plugs in 110 but he doesn't drive anywhere he drives like maybe 10 or 20 miles a day for the average person they you know most people average 30 to 30 maybe 40 miles a day it's kind of hard to do that when you're only plugging into 110 um, especially if you have a lot of running around you you just don't have time to you know charge your car 14 hours to get a full charge so if you have a 220 plug or a dryer outlet uh, you're charging it closer to 20 miles an hour or more. So with a Nissan Leaf, the most range you can get on a used one is like 80 miles. So, And you never hardly drive at 80 miles. So in three three hours, two to three hours usually, my car is completely full. It's charged up to 100%. So <clears throat> basically for less than uh, the actually the cord on Amazon, which is behind me, 185 bucks. That's pretty much the same one I got for 185 bucks, and the cord usually are like 20 feet. You can put one plug inside your garage, and if your panel is close to uh, the garage door, you can plug like ours. You can plug almost 20 feet outside the garage or anywhere in the garage with the same plug. I put two of them there so that way we could plug one car inside the garage and one car outside the garage. And I brought I bought an, an extra uh, plug, and I have two dedicated circuits, so you can plug two cars in at the same time, and they charge really quickly, <clears throat> just as fast as the uh, level two chargers at the store, because you're so close to your power source. So I I recommend, I mean, if you have to, you know, get an electrician to do it, but all you have to do is have them uh, basically put a um, an outlet is, you know, in the wall somewhere in your garage. And then just go on Amazon and buy a $185 cord and just make sure the plugs match. And, you know, you don't have to spend 
close to two thousand dollars. I, I just don't understand that. You know, inside the car, they have all the electronics that know how much juice that car needs. You know, as long as you have a two pole adapter, if some if a breaker flips off, both breakers flip off. You're not going to hurt anything. So, if you're on a budget and you want an electric car, you can get Nissan Leafs anywhere from like I've seen them as cheap as three or four thousand. Uh, you know, up to you know, of course, the newer ones are more, but um, I think up to fifteen or sixteen. My uncle just bought a, a a fifteen loaded with everything, mint condition for like twelve grand. So you know, anywhere from four grand to twelve grand, you can have a really really nice car. And I went over there, same thing. Went to Home Depot, uh, or Lowe's, got a couple switches. I let him use my cord until he could buy his own. But I mean, I had him up and running for thirty bucks. I mean, you can't beat that. And uh, he drives about almost fifty miles or. Uh, 40 miles to work every day when he gets to work he plugs in there and then when he gets home he plugs in his house and he can actually go to work and back and still have miles left but he just plugs in at work just for those extra few miles in case he wants to you know deviate he wants to go to the store or go to the gym or something maybe pick up a few things on the way home he has like you know extra miles so it's doable you just have to plug in a little bit extra but I mean for the money you save uh it, it's it's worth it so i highly recommend you know getting a level two charger getting a nissan leaf and if you want to get a tesla someday it's a great way to save money plus you can be doing the right thing driving an electric car saving the environment while you're saving for your tesla so there is ways around it you know even if you have to get it for your, as your second car it's going to save you money and you're doing the right thing so thumbs up for Nissan Leaf and thumbs up for Amazon. You, you can get a good deal on a charger. You don't have to spend all this money. You know, you can do that later if you want like some fancy charger, but it works. It does just as good as anything else. And, uh, you know, you don't have to come out of pocket that much. So, anyway, I hope you like this video. I'm going to be making more. Um, and hopefully, when I get my, when I order my Cybertruck. I'm going to post some videos, but I'm sure it'll be flooded by the time I get mine. Anyway, awesome.